Welcome back again. This is Micah Two Scoops, and this is part two of the video that we're continuing from before, how to set up and configure your deco light switches. In the first video, we went through how to factory reset and set up your light switches manually in your home. And I will be showing you how to set them up within the deco app and the Alexa app. If you do need help setting up your deco switches, go back to our first video. If not, this is the right place. We're going to jump right in with the screen recording of the app. We're in the setup portion of the Deco Lights. So go ahead and download the Deco app from the App Store, Google Store, wherever you get your apps. Let's go in here and set these up. All right, so as you can see, I already have two lights. These are lights that are actually smart control Deco Lights in the front of my house. But I didn't mess with any of those. Probably do some interesting stuff with those later. Um, also, I didn't know if you could see in that last screen, we have yeah, some of the other smart products just in general for home. I just throw those all in a folder. Uh, you know, we got Alexa here and Ring. So, but talking about Deco and we're setting up these lights. So, they're super easy to set up. So, let's go ahead and do that. I could do a deeper dive video on how to use these various features of Deco. Um, but if you do have Alexa, either um, Echoes or just the app on your phone, it's very easy to integrate and set things up to use routines. So I'll talk about that if you guys want to uh, leave comments under this video and we'll do that. So what we're going to do basically here is uh, click device because we want to add a new device. We are adding a switch. So to talk about this, this is great. There's a switch, which we talked about, and the Connect. So the Connect is a device that they used to have in order to connect your switch to Alexa. You would need a Connect with the older generation, but now with the next new generation, uh, that's actually built into each switch itself. So we don't need that. And also, even if your home had a bunch of the old versions, as long as you get one of the new versions that it can be the, the connect to control everything else and um, go from there. So we're gonna type switch. Uh, we're gonna link to devices here to pair and hit next. Are your lights controlled by more than one switch? Yes. Have those been linked? Yes. This video will be after I'll show you how to pair those. So. You will have done that already, so yes. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the light and we just hold it until it lights up. So uh, this one here. Starts flashing. You see so like the dots up here and then hit next and stay by your light because it's gonna try and find it. All right, great. Yep, let's call this. If I move this me out the way, dining room light. Done. Next. Awesome. So it says that it found the other switch that this is linked to and they're paired. So that's great. And that's done for that. Okay, so tap below to pair another device. Yep, let's do the next generation. Go to switch, do the same thing. Except this time when we hold, since these are linked and paired, we'll actually see some blue lights down here. I could take this off. Take this off. You actually see it flashing. Oh, well, I think I actually clicked the button and it paired already. But basically, it will turn blue. Then when it, this phone finds it, it will turn white. Let's call that kitchen light. Uh, 
done. Next. Also multiple switches. That's cool. So for these new version, we're gonna have to actually go to the other one and manually pair this one as well. Let's go over here. Uh, just hold the button itself and not the configure. If that makes sense. Not this button, this button. Hold that. All right, hit next. Yep, white, just like the other one was. So that's doing their thing. And we'll soon be able to control this with Alexa. All right, so we got the dining room light, we got the kitchen light, and that's it, we're gonna hit done. So now we created these lights. If we refresh this, then it updates because the lights are on. So now you see the app updated because now it knows that they're on. All right, and so the other thing we can do is add these to Wi-Fi. So in the settings, Wi-Fi settings, I've already got this connected um, and it's connected through uh, various devices. These are the, the new devices that I have, the kitchen light. These other lights are the, the next, the newest generation that have the um, Alexa Connect already in them, built in. So you just choose. Searching. Stop. I don't see anything to connect. Check the device you'd like to use and make sure Bluetooth is turned on. To set up a new device, go to the settings on your Alexa device. So, um, so basically we'll connect through one of the ones that are, um, already there existing because, uh, when I deleted these lights earlier, um, Alexa actually has to update what lights are in, um, it's like registry of devices. So if we go to, this is neat. Um, we're going to go to Alexa. Hey, this is Micah coming to you in post because I said the keyword Alexa, uh, while having the Alexa app open. And it's at that point that the app will grab your microphone and cut out the video for my screen recording. So I'll just take over from here and give you the play by play. So what we're doing here is we're going to search in the Alexa app skills library for the deco skill to get there you just hit the more button in the bottom corner and then search deco and the skill will pop up this is the one so here i already have the skill enabled but uh, that's what you want to do you want to enable it uh, it'll prompt you to sign in via web browser so enter your email and password there then it'll bring you back and you'll be able to successfully link your Deco skill account to the Alexa app. And so what I'm doing is I'm disabling and I'm re-enabling and it'll take me through that same process. It will, if you've done this before, it'll actually remember your password so you won't have to re-enter that. So you'll just select what location your Deco switches are set up at. And then boom, they're successfully linked again. And it will actually prompt you after this to search for discover devices. So this is the process that you want to do anytime you're adding or removing devices from the Deco app. And so that way it's always up to date in Alexa. So that way those devices are in sync. I actually ran into the error that I didn't delete the devices from Alexa and only deleted it from Deco. So when I went to re-add those devices, 
we see no new devices found because they're the same devices. And so the quick fix for this is to actually go ahead and go to the light, go to settings here and actually delete delete this device. So these are deco switches. So as you see the type there, it'll show up as a switch. But since these switches control lights, you will want to switch them from a switch to light. And that'll just help everything work better because in this mode here, you'll see all your lights are in one spot and all your switches can be on another spot. So if you have switches for bathroom fans or room fans, they'll be separate from the lights. So we see here that each time I press off and on, you can see in the background, those lights actually went off and on. And here I actually ask Alexa to turn off the kitchen light without, you know, manually pressing any buttons. And as we saw, the lights went out. So that's basically how you do it. We will go over in another video if you'd like how to turn off or on multiple lights at the same time. If you came from my other video, I did say Alexa turn off downstairs. In the Deco app, you can set up what are called zones. And for my house, I had a downstairs zone. And if you had created that zone, it will actually be discoverable within the Alexa app once you discover devices. Once the downstairs zone is discoverable, then any lights that fall with under that zone, Alexa can turn off and on at the same time. And that's basically how I did that. I can go into a deeper dive on specifics of the Deco app in a different video, but this is just a quick video to get you guys set up and running with Alexa. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel and videos. Be on the lookout for all things upcoming, home automation, more deco things, music, all things on my YouTube channel, Michael Two Scoops. We'll see you next time. Peace.